So here we are at the next game. This is Evil Remains by Celestrium, something like that. Uh, yeah, nice, uh, nice opening title screen here. A little bit of more of that music box. Uh, again, with this, uh, I'm assuming this must be like a Yanfly plugin or something for the uh, options. Several of the games have had pretty similar menus. They're not Yanfly now, Vizutella. Uh, but it's fine. It looks good. I like the I like the opening here. Act one, ready. Okay, that's cool. It's really cool. I'm ready. How do I? Okay, there we go. Oh, we got tall sprites. Always prefer them to the small chibi sprites. These ones are a little less uh, chibi-ish. Great to have the chance to reconnect like this. I was always so inspired by your passion. That's crazy. You were always passionate for. I'm glad we had the chance to talk to you. Okay. I think the school you reunion was a great idea. It's great to see everyone, especially you. Great, great, great. Okay, so you can't actually speed through this, it's all just a cutscene. I'm happy I came, it's great. Great, great. Brought this hotel. One of our classmates bought the hotel. Can't go in the pool with regular clothes on, you need swimming apparel. Okay. Please, Tom, lighten up. I know you're a cop, but really? So maybe we can go to a place a little more quiet. You know, Wow, I'm having a good time hanging out with you. I can't believe we waited this long. Well, life is different then. It seems kind of busy out here. It's very hard to tell who's talking uh, a lot of the time. Just people moving around on the screen. And... Okay, so when I, we have our creepy narrator. <clears throat> if you could please um, have a good look at you, male or female. Uh, I'm gonna close my eyes and hit it. Oh, I guess me. Is that me? Sure. Yes, I can see you clearly. And what should I call you? Okay, we're gonna go by. Oops, I did that entirely backwards. <laughs> it's it's kind of confusing actually now that I see it. But they're all capital. These are just smaller versions of the capitals. Oh, it's okay. No, don't mind it. Sure. That person I was flirting with, I don't. I don't. Oh, this guy. Um, very, very creative here. Yes, Ruby and Rube. How, how creative. Okay, so now I have to decide what type of game I want. Well, considering how I've played in some of these other games, let's start with normal. 18 turns, okay, I like this premise. I'm not sure what, what they're suspecting me of. This section displays is a display of your picture and your name. Click that to take a glance at yourself. And actions. Only so many actions. So this has a similar vibe to the uh, the Carnival Mystery game. Um, it's just a little more upfront clear about what's going on. Um, I think that's going to be kind of the same thing. Murder Mysteries. Which is a fun premise. I'm not a huge fan of mysteries myself, but uh, this one looks nice and polished. Uh, so be mindful of your actions. If you ever felt the need to forward the time without performing an action, you could click the section. It would give you the option to rest. Okay. The section lists people you can interact with. Clicking on the journal opens up a menu. Nice polish here. Uh, we'll see how well it works. Okay. Suspicious of me. Are they suspicious of me or am I suspicious of them? I'm not quite sure on that, but I'll take a closer look. Uh, this is your inventory. You can click things, interact with them. Great. Okay, so saving may be bad actually. You can get yourself stuck. I would like to save. <laughs> as, I, as I say that. Act 2, like this. Okay. 
guessing that's someone being murdered. I can move. Do you wish to search the body? Yes. Uh, no, I don't think I would. Wait. Oh, I got stuff. I want to look at my stuff. Okay, I guess I need to use. You are covered in blood. Well, that's good. <laughs> It's a little unclear that that body is laying down. It just looks like it's standing there. Um, that would be one where you, you might want to change that sprite to look more like it's laying down. Um, it's locked. You can't get into it. I'm not going to move the body. Uh, so it looks like I murdered him. Uh, I think that's pretty clear. See if anyone's suspicious of me yet. Yeah, this has a really nice polish to it. Um, a bit unclear. Good use of the uh, character art that came with MZ, the full bust, their full bodies. I don't, I mean, I only got 17 actions. I feel like I should just look around. So I can take an action? I don't know. Everyone has become more suspicious. I think they become more suspicious of me. Mm, let's lock that. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get caught. Wait, I just came out of it. Oh, I think I'm in trouble. So I was in that room. Well, I guess I just need to clean up then. Gotta get this blood off of me. Oh, here we go. Yes. Okay, that's pretty cool. I feel like I look less suspicious now. That's my real goal. I don't really care who did it, I just don't want to be blamed. Unless I did it, and then I guess that's only fair. There's a bit of like, you know, there's really no way for me to know how things are going to react, so it's a little hard to go. Oh, <laughs> so jumping out the window wasn't an option. I actually hit that by accident anyways, but uh, yes, I do. I mean, I guess it is the point of a mystery game to kind of So the on-screen picture there, you can kind of just run through it. Oh, I have something here. And my assigned room is B. Ah, let's go to my room. I don't remember how I got that. I'm already clean. That's good. I'm in the closet. Probably should have taken my purse out of the other room. I think that was mine. Yes. Where's Who's Tom? How does? I don't know who Tom is. And how he saw me in my room. Um, so that was a little confusing. We'll, we'll give it one more little try here. I don't know how many minutes I'm at here. So I'm intrigued by this game. It's got a lot of really nice effects going on. But... Okay, I wish I could skip through that. I should save. Um, the action thing here seems like a clear gameplay loop. Uh, the suspicion meter be a little... kind of wish there was a way to bring it up a little easier. Um, I didn't like to see anyone really gain suspicion, but... I'm not quite sure what that would look like. Oops. Um, so there's some really cool effects. Wish that I could 
just had a little better sense of what was going to happen when you do things. But I guess that's the point. Just try stuff. Alright, this time we're going to try to clean everything up and just... things and I've got a body so that's it's gonna be a bit hard enough I guess I should read what it says okay so I've got to hide that but I definitely look very suspicious now <laughs> this is a morbid game. Alright. Alright. I don't know if I should keep the victim's cell phone on me. But I will. So now let's I just need an alibi. What can I do? No. Did that use my action trying to use it? Oh, let's check the trash can. It's empty. Okay. Um, well, I don't want to spoil this too much. I don't know where this is going. A little bit of a plot to say there's something bigger going on. Let's just see what happens if I try to leave. Oh, can't. Can't leave, apparently. Okay. Um, yeah. Interesting premise here. It's a bit kind of just random in terms of like not having any sense of what's going on, but it's really well polished. Um, I can definitely see people enjoying this. I just kind of want to run through my actions and get out of here. But I'll leave that for my own time. Uh, so on to the next game. Pretty good. Pretty good entry here, though, for sure. Really nice polish, looks good, um, great mapping, out here especially. Um, music's okay, but kind of fits the vibe, the sepia tone thing going on here. Definitely a disturbing game. <laughs> so, Hot Walker Spooktober, from the top. A nice breathing sound to start. Drinking sound effects, glass sound effect. The uh, creator did describe this as a lesson in sound practice and sound effects. And I'd give them decent credit so far. Those were nice. Okay, broke the bottle. This pulse is cursed, as she said. Oh, why couldn't I have listened to her and just left when she asked me to? A few more days and all these years would have finally paid off, or so we thought. Oh, Mia, why did we take this job? Was it really worth what was offered? Uh, yeah, this is kind of kind of done with that. Um, oh, that triggered it again. So, went to an evil haunted house premise. Uh, I don't know if I'm supposed to be the person who wrote that someone else. Nice. Again, lots of people using lighting effects in this to get a good effect. <laughs> Speak. Do I have any pain? No. Skills? None. Take. 
the swordsman. Swordsman. No gear even. I don't think it actually matters. This doesn't feel like the kind of game where that's important. Okay, uh, tall sprite. That's nice. Dear Drake, kids are terrified. So a few typos in throughout here, nothing too bad. Writing itself is passable. It feels a little stilted. Okay, something else left. Nice little uh, vase there, I like that tile. Oh, a mirror. Most things don't seem interactable, just kind of the letters. Um, the sound is really, really nice. I think, as I said, they were trying to work on sound design in this, and that's definitely the strength so far. Yeah, nothing really to do. Creepy doll there, though. A little bit of tile set passability that probably should be you know, set to star passability, so when I walk on it, I'm not standing on the chair arm. So that's fun too. And here, you know, like again, just kind of the passability settings might have made sense to have me be able to walk in front of this uh, instead of being like a whole body length away from it. Um, yeah, mapping is is good otherwise. Uh, yeah, like here, I'm stepping on to this, yes. So <laughs> lots of errors in the mapping in terms of passability. But the actual map itself is nice. Um, so those are easy fixes. Just need to look at the tile set. Uh, we're gonna leave. So scary. Yeah, in some ways the sound is gives a really creepy vibe and the reading is a little too on the nose. Uh, could be scary. That's some weird the angle there in the bookshelf is kind of weird. Um, can I read these? No. So really there's not a lot to do in this game it seems so far. Uh, it does feel very early. I guess that's okay. Walk on the bench. I'm not even sure if I'm trying to get out. Like what is there's more Lots of little tile set glitches. Um, can't do anything here. Oh, another thing to read. Oh, can't read it from that side. Maybe I can read it from here. Guess it's not readable. <laughs> I don't know if that's intentional, but you can't actually walk up closer to the desk. This is one of the challenges of using different size sprites. Um, they don't always fit well with, but here's like a okay, case, so like that looks fine. So really just make this passable on the front and it probably look better. Um, so this would be your passable front side, the back half of it would be set to not passable, kind of like it is, and I think it would look just a little better, make it a little less of a box around it. Um, yeah. Something to read here, maybe. Being assigned a student fresh out of university as my pupil might not have been such a bad idea. His, his, a, I don't know what that means. He has a bright lad for his age. He is a bright lad for his age, maybe. Has so much potential. And that potential is what most of the people working here lacks. Okay, um, yeah, there's a lot of references to something or other. Not much of a story, but maybe if you read enough and pay closer attention than I currently am, you get another yeah, passability map. That's an interesting thing to write on the map. Hmm. Well, let's. I think I'll play until I can find the caverns and then I'll call that good. 
I'm not even going to bother searching because nothing so far has actually done anything. Oh, we're in the caves. Ooh, a scary sound. I don't know, I want to find out though. Someone else is in here with me to be killed. Oh, I guess back in back into the dungeon. Something to read. Oh, that's a lot of reading. If you one page, we'll see how it is. Okay. So the prison is going mad, got the gist. Let's go upstairs and see if I can get myself killed. Ooh. Yep, there's another lots of tile set errors. Um, and otherwise really nice mappy. The maps feel feel good. It's a bit of a maze of a house, I don't really have any sense of the layout uh, just so far. And that doesn't seem like there's a lot to do in the game. I'm just, ooh, I just really want to see one of the monsters. Oh, is he chasing me? I don't know if he's supposed to get stuck there. Um, definitely kills kind of the terror when you can stand here and watch him. Oh. <laughs> yeah, okay, that's a good place to leave off. Uh, yeah, it's okay. Nice sound. Uh, Decent mapping, besides the obvious mapping errors. Um, the game itself definitely needs a little more of an actual game, you know, a little more direction from some of those writings, maybe a premise. Then again, these kind of games aren't my favorite, so uh, to kind of wake up in a spooky house and wander aimlessly is, isn't the first choice that I would play. But if that's your thing, it seems like it has potential as it gets developed. We have Another one here, Amarok's Howl by Baragon. I'm saying that right? Is there those? Baragons of Baldur's Gate reference? I don't know. Baragoth. Ah, I can't remember the name of the city in Baldur's Gate anyways. Uh, so let's go ahead and start. Okay. Okay, so I don't want to miss the Christmas celebration. Sorry, Al, I was just thinking, you know. Uh, moments. Momentous occasion, yes. Yes, it is indeed. Alex and Al. That's a little confusing. You're the resident advisor. You should set the example of uh, Alistair Morgan. I am nice, which is why I went all the way back to get you. Okay, so we set up. Doesn't like the some family drama, okay? So we're studying in Alaska, we've got our setting. So we've got our two friend characters growing out over parental disparities, girlfriend issues. Natalie's been sick, or Nat, I don't actually remember what her name was. She's coping, last I heard, her father is in recovery from his injury. Okay, so more, a lot of text dump here. Um, like, just a lot of info right there, but uh, okay. Got the party going on. Don't love that mapping um, in general. It's Groundskeeper Parker, in some sort of dungeon here, apparently. So I just gotta fix it. Okay. So this campus tunnels. We got a lot of premise here. Still a lot of a lot of text going on. Okay, I'm not reading this clearly, it's kind of skimming it, you know. 
got the gist. We gotta go through the tunnels and not go outside wolf activity. But maybe we have to. Headmaster, the university. Hmm. Yes. Oh, please, no more talking. No more talking. What do you need? Oh, Christmas gift. How oh, nice. So we know about this character, Natalia. We're locked in here now. Okay, he's hallucinating. There's a lot of text, a lot of text going on here. Oh, still more text. And we didn't actually get to play anything so far. This feels like another one of these more story uh, telling, somewhat engaged games. So we saw a dog. The mapping also isn't doing it any favors, these big blocky open maps, uh, a lot of empty space. Yeah, this this could could be mapped better. Maybe do a little more with these cutscenes too, since this has all been a cutscene. A lot of standing around. Maybe have them walking while they're talking or something. In some of this, uh, just to just if you're gonna have a lot of reading, it's a little a little much to not see movement. Okay, finally can play. I'm like. After all of that text dump, I'm hesitant to talk to anyone. Jesus, just... no, no, okay. This is just, it's not a great map. Um, but since I'm free now, I'm just gonna go wild. Because that's a window. It's a raging blizzard, I won't leave unless I have to. That seems like foreshadowing. Shouldn't wander too far off. Okay, well. Let's give one conversation a shot and see if we can start this blonde. Hey there, Al. Hi, Nat. Wait, that's Natalie? Well, that was convenient. Natalia, sorry. Natalia. I'm forgetting her name. Let's enjoy the party. That wasn't much of a conversation with his uh, girlfriend. There's the headmaster. Professor Gardner. What, what did he look like? Probably one of these guys, right? Aha. I noticed you've signed up for my mythology class next semester. Quite interested in this topic, aren't you? Are you? <laughs> I need the extra credits. Inuit mythology. Interesting. There's a pretty good uh, show called The Terror that the first season at least is okay. Yeah. Brings in a bit of that Inuit mythology. Maybe this is with that in mind. Vanishing the black dogs, part of said mythology. Ah, you need the keyword. That is an example of a creature that appears in many myths. Black dogs, they are a sign of death. An omen of what? Yep, not a good sign for my, my main character here. Okay. Quite grizzly. I mean, I did just specify that I saw the dog. Uh. <laughs> okay. Oh, the Amarok. Mythical wolf that hunts alone and said to devour any wolf. Okay, so we got the Amarok, we got the dog. Okay. It's a lot of text, so. so. Some interesting things, so we got. Yeah, I'm kinda, kinda zoning out here with just a lot of reading and not a lot of game. Okay, um, now what do I do? Not decorated. Okay. Let's go talk.
talk to. Maybe this will trigger something now. Nope. Um, okay. So, Omens of Death. Chatted for a long time about that. Do I need to talk to him again? Oh, we gotta listen to more talking. I guess I wasn't paying that close of time. Okay, at least here we got a little bit of a change that uh, makes it a little more bearable to just keep reading. But yeah, I just think nothing wrong with a wordy story. Um, this just is a lot of info, text dump, no real engaging reason to care about it. I'm sure I saw an omen of death, uh, but it's just a lot of dump of info that could have been maybe better shown instead of told. I feel like, you know, I, I just, I'm not that invested in this at this moment. Uh, I kind of just want to see if there's a game to play. So I'm just going to skip through a lot of this text and probably miss a lot of the clues and the interesting mythology that's being shared here. <laughs> Which is, you know, great. <laughs> that is a lot of text here. So this is more of a story than it is a, uh, a game. That's quite a story. Oh yeah, it was. And dogs. Dog people. There's a story there for you. I'll tell sometime. Uh, okay. And there's the gift. Oh, we know how your dad is. Stem by study. Help you. Okay. This is great. Thanks, everyone. Oh, the view first. Yep. Great. Hey. Don't tell my father. I'm wrong. I don't know what to say, just thank you. Oh, thanks everyone, oh, my manners. Uh, you're the greatest thing that ever happened. I mean, I feel the same. Okay. So after skipping through just a ton of text, um, maybe something's about to happen. So I get you're trying to build up. Oh, maybe not. I thought there was going to be a game, but. Okay. There's a vicious creature. So they managed to save me. Uh, everyone else is. Okay. Um, it's just a lot of setup to get to this point. Um, a lot of storytelling that probably has something to do with with some of the. Uh, I, I don't even know. I, but I was going with that sentence. Uh, maybe the stories are interconnected. It's a game that's going to replay the mythology that was just narrated to us. But uh, yeah, that was just a lot to, to read. Oop, there's a wolf. I'm going to fight him. This is, oh, it's gone. I lost the wolf. There it is. Oh. I don't know what's happening. I probably should read the instructions that they gave me, but I can't tell if it's supposed to do that, but... Oh, okay. So every time you get you get an attack, it does do damage. I probably skipped the whole battle screen to do that. Um, and that's enough for me. Uh, yeah. Could be interesting. Mapping wasn't great. Uh, just a lot of text. Just hard to want to stay focused on all of that. Especially at the start of a game where you're not really invested. Um, and that little bit of gameplay I saw there was, wasn't very clear. No, it did tell me to read something first, uh, so I should have done my due diligence before running off and fighting. Um, but it didn't, didn't seem particularly engaging as a gameplay mechanic either, so run away from monsters, try to avoid them probably is the main gimmick there. Uh, could be fun. I might check it out again, but uh, I just 